salute to you all, the brave never fall. Stress is something, no matter how high or how low you get, you're going to encounter stress, especially if you're pushing yourself to do things outside of your norm. You try to do something uncomfortable every day, which is something I try to do every single day. I try to do something every single day that is something I don't want to do, which means you're going to be a little uncomfortable. That uncomfortable thing can be ranging from something like an extra hour at work that you've been asked to do that you could get out of, but you went ahead and did it anyway. Trying to go ahead and get as many of the chores that you put on your list done, plus add a little bit more. Might be going for that extra mile when you run, which is something I do a lot. That extra rep if you're working out, you know, just reading an extra chapter in the book, things like that you're going to feel uncomfortable because you know you don't have to do it. And I, always, I have always said that there are things out there that you know you don't want to do, but you do them anyway. And that's what makes it uncomfortable. And that's what makes it an uncomfortable struggle that you can overcome. You can create this struggle for yourself that is not so much a, a negative or bad or detrimental to your health or anything. It's just a little uncomfortable thing that you you are capable of overcoming and feeling good about it once you have done that thing. And... The more of those you pile up daily, it just helps. And you start building routines and and really healthy habits for yourself to make sure that you're adding some value to your life that doesn't require a lot of money, doesn't require a lot of time. It's just little things psychologically that you can do to help yourself push through an obstacle. So when the things that you, you can't plan for, the unexpected things, things do pop up you're ready for them because you've manifested these things through overcoming these little small obstacles you created for yourself however that doesn't mean that those little obstacles don't create stress and that's one of the reasons why i like creating these little uncomfortable struggles throughout each one of my days you know that i get up and i i hit the normal things that i know i need to do throughout the day all those obligations you have to do there are also things you don't have to do and they will present little stress situations for yourself and you have to work your way through them and it can be physical it can be mental spiritual emotional you can create those things for yourself and create yourself a little bit of stress and see how you deal with it because it's a stress that you can get out of you don't have to create the stress but you can try to see how you navigate through it there are going to be times where you're going to be dead tired and you don't want to do something but someone um, ask you to do something and you can either walk away from it or you can try to give it all you have to do this thing to overcome this uncomfortable struggle where it'd be easier for you just to roll over in bed and say I'm not going to do it but you say you know what I'm going to do this I'm going to get up I'm going to do it and you treat it almost as if you have to do it like you have to go to work there are, you, you have to do it um, in a lot of cases people don't but for the most part You know, if you want to eat and live and have a house to live in and a car to drive, you have to get up and go to work. How much work you do when you get there, that's a different story, right? But for the most part, you have to get up and overcome that struggle, whether you like it or not. So you can apply that to a lot of other things in life. And being assertive with these things is is a huge key because being assertive one way or the other is what's going to determine that stress level. And when you attack something, when stress is presented to you in a certain way, there's different ways you can deal with that stress. You can sit back and let that stress just fester up in your mind and your heart and build up in you. Until now, all of a sudden, you, you've gone from a stressful situation to an anxiety-filled situation. And then procrastination sets in, paranoia, doubt, fear. All that stuff starts, starts piling up in that corner. That corner which really just started out with just a little bit of stress. Or you can look at that corner with that stress in there and you can attack it. You can say, oh, this is going to be uncomfortable. It is going to be a a struggle, but I'm going to get through this uncomfortable struggle the best way I can, which is I'm going to go ahead first. I'm going to go into this and I'm going to go ahead and attack it right now. I want this done and out of the way. Now, that could be applied to so many different things. And one of the things that I've always thought when I was younger was that if you attack something, then there's no way to get out of it. And it's really, that's not the case on all scenarios. That does apply to a lot of things. Sometimes you can attack something and it open up, it opens up a whole new can of worms that you weren't expecting. But again, that is when you have to reduce the size of it. If there's something that you're going to attack 
and you don't really know how it's going to work out for yourself and you're afraid of that, yeah, apprehension on that part might be necessary. I mean, you don't want to get too involved with something that may draw you in and cause you so much stress where it, you're going to end up really causing some pain to yourself mentally or physically. And it's, it's not healthy. You, you have to know the difference. That's why we're talking about small stress situations here. Keeping high standards, but keeping that stress low. So basically what that means is, is, and this is how I think of it. You should value yourself. You should love yourself. It is something you should do for yourself daily. There's no one should tell you otherwise. That should be your, your primary focus without you even thinking about it. Your health and your sanity and who you are is very, very important. And people will ask a lot of you. You'll get pulled in a lot of different directions, especially the more positive you get and the more you open up yourself to people, if that's the route you want to take, uh, you, you will realize that there are pieces of you that you're going to leave <laughs> uh, out outside when you get into that bed at night and go to sleep. You're going to realize, wow, I really maybe did too much today. But at the same time, those pieces are still out there. You can go back out and get them. Meaning... There's nothing wrong with having those high standards for yourself and creating those stress situations for yourself, but just keep them low. So when you're going to go into a situation where you you want to test yourself, you want to see what you're made of, you create those little stresses yourself. And, and it's one of those things where you have to figure those things out for yourself. Everybody's stress level is different. But when you attack something, you want to attack it hard. So if you're going to run that extra mile, don't just run the extra mile. Do something extra in that extra mile just to make it a little bit more uncomfortable. You don't want a giant jump because that's where the stress comes in. You're going to put stress in your body. You won't be able to go back to the gym for another two weeks if you push it too hard. You want to be able to do this consistently every single day. It's built in routines. Incrementally increasing your stress, your uncomfortable stress for yourself and attacking it. But the goal is not to just attack it. The goal is to overcome the struggle. You want a victory at the end of this. But the standard has to be high. So that high standard equals value in your life. Pick something that's going to add value in your life and then add a struggle to it. That's basically the formula that I use for it. And it works. It really does work. But it's hard to tell somebody, hey, you should do this and attack it. You have to find out what it is in your life that adds the most value to your life that you can overcome in small doses that are filled with a little bit of stress. Not anxiety, not fear, not doubt, not pain. We're talking about just a little bit of uncomfortable stress, something that might normally freak you out, but you're in control of this. You're in control of this. Most stressful situations, we're not in control of anything. You have a choice. You can do it or you can't do it. There's a lot of built-in advantages in this scenario. You, This applies to so many different things that I do throughout the day, even when it comes to learning. I've, I've always been one of those people where I, I used to wake up and not know what I was going to do throughout the day. And to a certain degree, I still am like that now, except... I know what I'm going to do throughout the day. I just don't know how far I'm going to go with each thing because I'm committed to adding those little stresses in every day. And I don't even think about it to this point. I just know, okay, yesterday I went this far. I'm going to go a little bit further today. I'm going to learn something new today. I'm going to be disciplined. I'm going to make sure I try that new food out I've been wanting to do. It's little things like that. Something simple as literally trying a different food out you've been wanting to try and just trying it for the first time and been a little stressed out about it because you know you could have went to the comfortable food. And some people would say, that doesn't work. That That's crazy. Try it. I guarantee you it works. It's a mindset. It's about being mentally tough. It's about being mentally strong. It's about pushing past barriers that you don't even know are there for yourself because you never stop to examine the invisible walls. You never went inside of a dark room and look for the light switch to see what actually was in that room. You have to dig within your mind and your body and your heart and your soul to figure these things out. They don't just flop down in your lap in a gift basket and says, hey, here's all the tools you need to be successful in life. Your life depends on 
what you want out of each one of your days. Do you want a day filled with comfortable things that are unchallenging, that are not making you smarter, that are not making you a better person? Do you not dive into your emotions and think and emotionally laugh and cry and get to yourself where you're feeling all the emotions of life? That would be like going through the day with all your senses and then you're purposely are not trying to smell, not trying to hear, not trying to see, not trying to touch anything. That's what it's like to me to wake up every day and not challenge myself. It's like I'm waking up and I'm shutting off all my senses if I don't do it. It becomes a habit, a discipline, a routine. Your body and your mind responds to this stuff very well. We're primitive people. We're human beings. We haven't been on this planet very long. We are adapted to overcome stressful things. Not too long ago, just literally barely a thousand years ago, people were running around with spears and catching things and getting chased down by extinct animals today. So it's built in our DNA to overcome stress, to overcome struggle. To adapt and evolve and become something different. We do these as individuals. As a collective, we do it as mankind. But as individuals, this stuff has to occur within you. And you have to figure out how to overcome it. Your body wants some stress every once in a while. It's not healthy to be completely comfortable 100% of the time. That's why people go to the gym and improve their bodies. That's why people read books and improve their minds. That's why people are in relationships to improve their emotional states and try to figure out how to be a better human being and contribute and pass on your what you've learned to your offspring. That is a human experience. But you can't have the human experience without some stress. And it's going to come your way whether you like it or not. You can be prepared for it or unprepared. I prefer to be prepared for it. And you can train for it just like you would a race. All you have to do is put yourself in some situations, doing some things you don't have to do, but doing it anyway. Is it hard? Yes. Is it tough? Yes. Is it easy? Nope. But that's why you do it. What's great about having uncomfortable struggles each day of your life is because it's not easy. That's the reward. You overcame something that was difficult even on the minor level. But since you're holding your standards so high with that stress, you're going to get something out of it immediately. Instead of going home and sitting on the couch, go for a 30 minute walk. You've overcome something right there. Get up 30 minutes earlier than you normally do each day. And in that 30 minutes, do something productive. It's literally that simple, but it adds up. And the more you do it, your body responds to it in a very unique way. I am a, I am a living example of that. I am nothing <laughs> like I am now, like I was years ago because of that mindset. My mindset was always to run from challenging things, not towards them. I had a competitive nature about myself, but I had no idea what it took to win. Of course, everybody wants to win. Everybody has a competitive nature and everybody wants the best things in life. But a lot of people don't want to overcome the struggles to get what's even better beyond what they believe they need or they want. There's so much more you're leaving behind. There's so much more you're leaving off the table. But we don't know what we don't know. You don't know until you challenge yourself, until you push yourself. What do you really have inside of you? What are you really made of? Do you really know the answer to that question? Being comfortable will not give you those answers. Having low standards for yourself and low stress, is that's not going to get you the answers. You have to find some type of way to see what you're made of before life finds a way to teach you when you don't want it to. It's going to hit you right when you least want it to. It shows up and it will tear you down. You won't be prepared for it. You won't be strong enough. And you'd be wishing you had pushed yourself a little bit more and not sit in that pool of comfortable behavior. Because eventually life is going to come at you. Are you ready? You never know until it's too late. If no one has told you this today, I love you. You deserve to hear that. Salute to you all. 
the brave never fall.